Hey, what is up guys, YT Gaming to top here coming at you with this tutorial, full beginner's guide guys, as you can see, top 8 in the world, I know a little bit about this game, you know guys, you know, so once you start the game you will pass the tutorial and once you pass the tutorial you will have heroes unlocked, you will have Quincy and you will have Gwendolyn, which is Fire Gwen. And uh, you want to use Gwendolyn because she is way better than Quincy. She has the ability on level 3. You can press that ability. She will throw Gwen Cocktail of Fire. Or we can just call it Gwen Cock. That's what we call her ability. And that ability pops a lot of balloons. It helps a lot of early game. Hero is basically an additional, you can say, tower to your loadout that you will be picking. And utilizing your hero is really good. For example, if you unlock... Uh, Obin Greenfoot, uh, he can buff your druids and your magic monkeys, or if you unlock Ocean Obin, this guy can buff even more monkey, uh, magic monkeys uh, compared to the regular Obin. Striker Jones, Biker Bones, they buff Bomb and Mortar, so every tower has its own utility, except Quincy, Quincy is garbage, and uh, Captain Churchill is just a fun tower, there is also Sentai Churchill, but I haven't unlocked it yet, so with your new heroes, you will have this uh, kind of line, where you have money, that you can use, the monkey money, as you can see, I have 85,000 right now, but you will also need to use the hero to get experience, so you combine money with experience, and you can unlock a certain upgrade, so by the time you reach the last one, there will be a new hero unlocked, so for example, here it's Sentai Churchill, here with Quincy, uh, I have uh, unlocked new hero, and it is Cyber Quincy, with Gwendolyn, it is Science Gwendolyn, G Obin Greenfoot, Ocean Obin Striker Jones, and Biker Bones, guys, so not a big difference, but you really want to read the description about your heroes, about their abilities, but uh, my suggestion right now is, as a beginner, you want to just use Gwendolyn, and don't care about anything else, now, as per towers, guys, you really want to go on YouTube and check meta towers, but let me explain, as a beginner, how do you pick what towers do you want to use? So, as a beginner, you will have Dart, Bomb, and Tuck Shooter unlocked immediately. And then you will need to unlock other towers. So, first of all, the first principle that you need to have is to understand how balloons work. So, you will be playing in the lowest arena, which is Red Balloon Camp. And uh, that arena is like... Uh, let me just show you so you understand. That arena is like right here. Red Balloon Camp. There is only tiers 3. So, it really doesn't matter. Your goal is to just be able to defend the rushes. Okay? So and to rush them with purple balloons basically what you will want to do is rush them with purple balloons so you want to really use the towers that can help you with that you need some camo detection you need uh, to be able to select your loadout based off early game whenever you pick a you see there is always meta so current meta in the game is uh, not this strategy okay i was just memeing around uh, current meta is uh, in the game, the one strategy that everybody is using right now, it is uh, Druid, it is uh, our uh, Dear Monkey Ice Monkey, and it is our Submarine. This is the meta strategy, Druid, Submarine, as you can see I even named it Druid Rides Me, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, because Druid Sub is just so good. And uh, this is the meta strategy, but obviously you will not have the Tier 5s, and without Tier 5s, for example, uh, Submarine, can still be good, because maybe for you unlocking Submarine as your first tower and getting it to the Plutonium Reactor with the hit trip darts is really good, because in lower arenas, when you play, uh, let's say, in the lowest, lowest arena, Red Balloon Camp, when you are going to be playing, it's only tier 3, so you, you actually won't even have a reactor, and Yellow Stadium is also tier 3, holy cow, only White Wasteland is tier 4. So yeah, by the time you reach uh, White Wasteland, you really want to unlock some tier 4s, because it will start getting harder and harder for you, and uh, that's why it's really it might be a good option for you to start using Submarine as early as possible, so you can get the Plutonium Reactor, and then slowly get your way up to First Strike, Armor Piercing Darts, and uh, pre Sub Commander and Energizer, and this uh, Preemptive Strike is your last upgrade on Submarine. So now, the same goes for Bacanir. But, for example, why you would love to use Bacanir? It has Grow Nest. It has, uh, with Crow Nest, it has uh, Camo Detection. So if you go for Cannon Ship and you go for Crow's Nest, you can pop uh, Camo Lead Balloons. Which, uh, for example, 
well, tier 3 submarine can pop lead balloons, but you need uh, 300 to remove camo, and then you will need the uh, 0-2-2, to two, for example, to pop lead balloons. So that's kind of expensive. So maybe Buccaneer is one of your starting towers. It will be good for you to start learning the game. So I would suggest you to use uh, Buccaneer as one of your towers, because you uh, all you need to do is unlock this cannon ship, and uh, with double shot, with uh, Grow's Nest, you will pretty much be set for the game. Uh, just get more and more buccaneers so, and almost and every single map in the game has water so um, that's a good first tower for you to start now uh, right now in the game very popular is alternative income so for example sniper has supply drop supply drop generates money uh, heli pilot has uh, support chinook support chinook generates money and uh, Druid Farms, we have the our favorite jungles bouncy, they generate money. And uh, Banana Farm, obviously, Banana Farm generates uh, money. <laughs> so that's pretty obvious. So maybe, as a beginner, to learn the game better, you want to go for Buccaneer as your first tower. But you will not have tier 4, so alternative eco in the current meta will not really change much for you, unless you really, really want to sweat. If you want to sweat, and you already know the game. Just go through it, sub ice, and upgrade, level up these towers, and you will be fine. For at least until next update, because I'm sure next update they are going to nerf this strategy. Anyway, but as I said, your first tower is Buccaneer. It's really good. Now, second tower, all best to use, is Boomerang Monkey, guys. For the beginners, Boomerang is the best pick that you can have. You will need to unlock Glaive Ricochet. It's super good against balloons. So if you combine it with Camo Cannon Ship and um, uh, this Boomerang Monkey, or for example, you can go for Boomerang and you can go for Submarine and all you need is Submergent Support. So once you unlock Submergent Support, it will remove Camo Balloons and then you can get Boomerangs. You can get them to free zero two to get Glaive Ricochet and Red Hot Ranks. And basically with two of these guys, even though you don't have um, tier fours yet, with two of these guys, you will be able to defend every rush that your opponent will be sent, uh, will be able to send against you because rushes in Ren Balut Camp are very easy to defend and in Yellow Stadium basically as well. So Boomerang can be your second option. So Boomerang uh, and Submarine or Buccaneer, you can pick both of them. As I have explained, uh, Buccaneer with the cannon ship uh, provides good camo detection. So cannon ship is also strong with double shot. So for example, uh, with boomerang it will also be good. But submergent support, what it does, while buccaneer attacks camo balloons, uh, submergent support strips off the camo detection all together, and then boomerang monkeys attack. Plus, the difference from uh, buccaneer is once you get your boomerang to Moab press, you can uh, defend bigger rushes in uh, higher arenas. Even in Hall of Masters, people use boomerang, so it's all together good tower. And uh, bionic turbocharge, pretty good tower. So it's very strong and it's really good beginners. It's literally it's a beginners friendly tower. So you start with three zero two boomerang. And you continue sending balloons against your opponent. I'm going to pause the recording soon, and then I will help you in a casual game and show you. But anyway, uh, Boomerang is your second choice. So let's just focus up right now on uh, Submarine. Start with Submarine, Boomerang. Now, you want one more tower. Basically, in Red Balloon Camp, you can win with Submarine Boomerang. You really don't need. So let's think ahead. Now, you need one really good tower. Something either fun, if you want... You think ninja looks cool? Or maybe you think uh, Ice Monkey? This one, for example. You you look at this Ice Monkey and you say, Holy balls, I want this Ice Monkey. Go for it. Just take your Ice Monkey and every game that you play, place your Ice Monkey and let it get experience. And then slowly, once you get higher upgrades, for example, uh, 204 or 024 is very good Ice Monkey for defending rushes. So... Uh, it's very strong against balloons. Icicle Impale is insanely strong against Moab class balloons. It can literally stun them. Snowstorm is very strong ability that slows down all the balloons on the screen, including Moab class balloons. And Brittle, it reduces the amount of health that uh, Moab class balloons have for a certain while it's attacking, basically. So if you have, for example, your uh, boomerangs attacking Moabs. At the same moment that you have your uh, four uh, four XXIs, it's a really good combo. And uh, 
maybe not the best with boomerang obviously but i'm saying you have boomerang and submarine as a beginner and uh, you need a third tower you have to plan ahead so if you are not glue boomerang submarine glue well even glue you have moab glue that can slow down the balloons and let boomerangs deal more damage the problem with the slowdown will be bads but as a beginner guide in red balloon camp no one is going to send you bads most definitely so uh glue might be also a good option because all you need is moab glue and it will slow down any uh, big balloons that they can send against you so this is pretty cool i would say but again your main two towers should be submarine and boomerang as a beginner so you can learn the game you can understand it you can understand how it works what you need with boomerangs is this upgrade free zero zero so you want to go for free zero two and once you have free zero two you will be fine against most of the balloons until like round 7, round 8 and I don't even think anyone will send so many balloons in lower arenas, guys. So, as I said, guys, just Boomerang, Submarine, 302, uh, Glaive Ricochet with Red Hot Ranks. For uh, later rounds, you can just do the same thing as I told you. So, round 12, you want this 300 Submarine. You want to have it uh, by round uh, 12 it has to be placed already and you want to have since you don't have tier fours just get free zero two and get two of them free zero two free zero two red hot ranks will give you lead balloons uh, popping power it's very important you really want to go free zero two you don't want to ever go free two zero free two zero is garbage you want to go free zero two when you want to go middle path is when you have more press unlocked so you want to go zero two four rather than two zero four with more press and faster ranks but with glaive ricochet you really want red hot ranks because it allows you to do extra damage in general because as you can see it even says here do more damage to all and it allows you to pop lead balloons and that's very very important guys uh lead balloons come out round 10 and not all the monkeys can pop them also <coughs> excuse me also boomerangs can pop purple balloons so you really really want to get this guy this guy is your savior then once you have this guy you are vibing like glaive ricochet you might need three of them or four of them to defend but they they will defend of course but you you need more 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 glaives is just so good but basically um you will be fine in lower arenas so but as a beginner you don't even have tier three guys uh, so what you want to do you want to go with two zero two boomerang spam and you just want to send balloons and win the game that's all you want to do you don't want to go for uh, more so you place as many boomerangs than something else something else and you just win the game and the best is you can go boomerang submarine as i told you just to get that xp to unlock tier 3 submerge and support guys and enjoy the game so that's your best bet as your third tower as i said just pick anything that is in meta and start upgrading it because you will need xp on that tower so i would suggest you um honestly ice monkey might be too complicated i suggest you to use druid as your third tower B you really want to get this path uh jungle's bounty because you already have submarine you already have boomerang you are anyway sitting in lower arenas avatar of wrath super storm they will come later on and without super storm without upper avatar of wrath these paths are not as important since you anyway have boomerang and submarine so unlock jungle's bounty and use it for extra money because every jungle's bounty produces you good amount of cash so you can use it to generate extra money and to save some money because at any point they rush you you can sell the jungle's bounty and you can micro and build more towers now with druid i really suggest you to get up the lower path uh, as well so you, you really want to decide if you think you cannot defend rushes and save up for jungle's bounty maybe start upgrading first the uh, druid of rough but it's a complicated concept and you really want to understand the game so maybe just going for jungle bounty and focusing on your submarine and uh, getting into reactor to armor piercing darts to first strike capability for defending and getting your boomerang as well to more glaives to more press to turbocharge uh, i'm saying tier fours because tier fives I w are way ahead but uh, at least getting them to tier fours is your main priority for damage dealers as you are sitting in lower arenas which is why druid 
start unlocking Druid to Jungle's Bouncy first. Once you get the Jungle's Bouncy, guys, you can see I'm, I'm like the Druid guy. Uh, look at my XP on Druid. <laughs> anyway, but Jungle's Bouncy gives you so much money. It's basically your banana farm, but Jungle's Bouncy deals damage. That's the whole point, guys. And you don't need to micro. It will do everything by itself. A vine, one shot, ceramic, it removes region, it shoots a lot. And if you get this one as well, the heart turns, it will deal even more damage. So... This is your all to go for tower. My recommendation, it's really easy to use the middle path and the upper path. The lower path, you need to know the game mechanics for this. So it, it will come later. But upper and middle path, really good to use, really easy to use. So unlock Druid of the Jungle, then unlock Jungle's Bouncy. And only once you have Jungle's Bouncy, I assume by that time you will have some more or less good game understanding. So you will know what to do from there but really heart of engines druid of wrath pretty simple <laughs> anyway guys so that's uh, the first part of beginner's guide how you select your towers how you build your loadout um what's your best loadout to understand the game of course i can go explaining why shimmer and necromancer can be re used really good with farms and with stack shooter but guys 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 it's a beginner's guide it's a guide for new people for new players who never played cd6 or maybe they played battles one or maybe they played btd5 i don't know but that's a good guide for you to start you want to synergize and also one more point with uh, for example, Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn doesn't really buff other towers, but it has really good abilities, and her abilities work really well with Boomerang Monkey and with Submarine, guys. So this is my hot take on this. Wait for part two. I will explain how Eco works, how Balloon Sand works, how Rushes work in this game, guys. If you like this, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, don't forget. Don't forget, guys, to support my channel if you like it. See ya.